This year we've been offering classes in Sloyd, or Swedish handcrafts, to adults and students here at American Swedish Institute. This is part of ASI's mission, to serve as a gathering place for people to share their stories and experiences related to tradition, immigration, handcrafts, and the arts, especially as they are tied to Sweden. The idea of making beautiful and useful objects from natural materials is prevalent in many different cultures, including in Sweden. Take a look at how we're introducing these crafts right here in Minnesota. Today was the adult birch bark class, and it was weaving. I had them do birch bark rings, beads, and then knife sheaths or scissor sheaths, depending. And then what we're going to do tomorrow is uh, a six by six, six strips one way, six strips the other way basket. Birch bark is a natural material, and in Scandinavia and Russia, it's a uh, readily available source. You know, the Sloyd craft for making birch bark is just what people had to do to make a living. And then it wasn't until tourism started in Sweden and Finland and Norway that they started making birch bark items for sale. And that changed what they did. Then they became more decorative. They were using snow seal, but you could use vegetable oil or mink oil or a whole bunch of different wax products to make the bark slide when you're weaving it. And mostly it's when you're putting it together and you've started coming back down the outside, it gets very tight. It's like caning a chair, which you start out really slack in the caning. And then as you start weaving these pieces in and out, it takes up that extra slack until you get a nice taut, tight seat on the chair. And that's the same thing with basket weaving. It's nice to see the students were really happy and it's their first knife sheath most of them have ever made so to see them walk away happy is really good for me because I know I've done a good job in preparing the bark and teaching them what I know so that's my goal. <laughs>